Hi everybody, it's Kimber from The Pinning Mama and today I'm going to show you how to make a stencil um, on your silhouette. If you've tried to make a stencil before, you might have been frustrated if you're new because um, you cut it out and then realize the middles of the letters, like the E's or um, like a loop and a Y, they are missing the middles, they don't stay with the um, with the letters, so you end up not being able to paint it just the way you want it um, if you're doing uh, paint on stencils. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to do it really, really quick and easy. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I just opened up Silhouette Studio. I am using the Designer Edition, so if you are not, mine might look just a tiny bit different, but you'll be able to do the same thing. Um, you can always upgrade to the Designer Edition. It's um, usually, you can find a good sale, somewhere around $25 on it, and it just opens up really a whole new world of things you can do with it. Um, anyways, we'll get right down to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just picking my text tool. Um, I'm using Aaron Script because I think it uses um, a really good example for the kinds of things you might run into. And I'm just going to type a word. I'm going to use the word dance. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that y'all can see it better. Okay, so the first thing you notice is when I look at that word that the... Um, ends of the letters kind of come up onto the other letters and overlap. Now, if you leave it like that, it's going to cut into the other letters and basically all of these letters are going to be cut independently instead of being one um, long piece of script like we want. So um, what we're gonna do is weld those together. Now in this script, they overlap kind of perfectly, so it's great and I don't really need to move it, but in some, um, some fonts you might use, they might not be quite touching and you want them to be, so you can come over here to character spacing right here, and um, you can use this to make them farther apart if they're too close or closer together, um, if they need to be closer together. But I'm just gonna leave that like that. All I have to do now is right click, and I go down to weld, and you can see now it took the cuts that were going into the uh, consecutive next consecutive letter and it took them out and welded them together so now I have um, a D and I have the um, A N C E and it's kind of one continuous piece of script okay I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more on this for you um, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to um, convert this just from being a word into actually being um, a something that we can stencil so that it will keep these parts, when we cut it out on paper or cardstock um, or stencil material, um, with the stencil so that we don't miss the middles right here, like of this loop on the D or this middle of the A or the middle of the E right here. So all you're going to need to do is grab um, your knife tool. It's right here in your sidebar. And um, I just use straight. If you don't have designer, you probably won't even see these options, and that's fine. And what I do is I just cut, I click, and I cut right through, and that, you can see, does a tiny little bitty tiny um, cut in it, but what I'm gonna do is make it a tiny bit bigger because that's gonna be really, really hard to keep together um, if you leave it that tiny. So I just do a second one, still pretty small, but um, just right there parallel to it, and you'll see that now I have two cuts, and if I zoom in on that even more, um, what I'm gonna do is choose my little pointer tool right here, click on it and I'm going to delete those little middle pieces and now when this cuts it gives us um, a stencil so that this negative space right here is going to have a little paper strip that goes and it holds this piece on right here and we're going to do that on any letter um, that is completely kind of connected there's like like this in the A. Now the D right here, we don't have to do it because there is a little um, opening right here and that will be um, paper that will hold that in and together. But on the A right here, we're gonna need that as well. So I'm going to go ahead, my knife is still selected. No, it's not, let's click back on the knife. And then I'm just going to slice through, slice through. And I just kind of try to pick in kind of an obtrusive place. Um, and then, Let's see where else we need that. The N is fine, the C is fine, and then we're gonna need that right here as well, so. Okay, and then I go back, pick my pointer, and I'm gonna delete all those little pieces out. Okay. 
and you can see that now instead of just having one piece of script I actually have a stencil that will leave the insides of the loopy areas of my letters um, intact so that I can um, perfectly create the font and stencil it onto um, a piece of wood or a decoration or a shirt, a backpack, um, whatever you might want. Um, and that's all. Thanks.